Okay, so as promised, we're going to be rebuilding this turbo. Just pulled it off the car. The reason we're doing this is there's a bit of play in the shaft, a bit more than I'm happy with. So I've been on eBay and I bought a rebuild kit, which is about £25. First up, we're going to strip this thing apart, get it into its major components. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the wastegate. So there's a clip here. I'm going to remove that nice and carefully, make sure it doesn't go flying. Just that little thing, keep that nice and safe. A12 wheel, okay, should now be able to lift up the wastegate. This will vary depending on your install, mine's got this bracket on here. But the next thing I'm going to remove is this locking collar in the centre which holds the exhaust housing onto the core. Once you back that nut all the way off, remove the stud as well, and then this should Go. Should open up. This is the hard part now, separating the exhaust housing from the core. These can be fairly welded on. Start by just giving it a few gentle love taps. Starting to go now. It's not the best way to do it, but needs must. There we go. And when you pull this out, you want to be super careful. If you've got your little turbine wheel spinning here, not to damage that. So we'll put that to one side. Next up, I'm going to have to remove this oil feed after all. Now for the fun part, removing this giant circlet which holds the compressor housing to the core. For this, you're going to need circlet pliers for internal circlet. But they can be a bit stuck to start with, so what I do is take a punch and just rest it on an angle in the hammer, give it a light tap, both sides, so that should free it up. You don't want to destroy this circlet because you do need to reuse it. There we go. Talk amongst yourselves. So when you remove the oil drain like you're probably supposed to, the snap ring will just come out. 
The next part is separating the core from the compressor housing. It's an O-ring fit, it can be quite tight. The main thing to avoid doing is kicking the compressor wheel into the housing. get this into pieces and see what we've got to work with. So the first thing I'm going to do is separate the compressor wheels. It's a reverse thread usually on this so you want to be careful. So we dismantle anything when this turbo is assembled in the factory it's balanced. You can see there are little cutouts and various marks on here. So what you want to do is mark where everything comes off. So I'm going to mark the shaft and the nut and also go all the way down onto the compressor wheel. Here we've got one nice line there, so we can line everything back up and hopefully keep everything balanced when we put it back together. Okay, broken loose. A tiny little nut to keep that safe, and you should be able to just pull off the compressor wheel. And then out comes exhaust wheel plate, well that's your, the guts of your turbo, and here we've got one of our little bearings, we'll be replacing that. There is an oil seal ring here, that will need to come off as well. There we go. Next thing we're going to do, there's another circlip in here. That Out, you will get a new one of those as well. Next thing you want to do is remove this centre section. It can be a little bit difficult to get out, but I'm going to get two flat bladed screwdrivers, one either side, just under this lip here. No ring fit, so it's quite tight. There we go. So on top of that, you've got this little assembly here. And make sure you get this brass ring as well. It can be helpful. As with before, as with the valve stem seals, to make sure you take note of how things go in. As you take them out, lay them out in the order they came out of the turbo, so that when you come to put things back together, you've got a better idea of what's going on. Fundamentally, now that is just the core, there's nothing left to take out, so that's what I'm going to do spend a little bit of time cleaning this up, and then I'll show you how to put it back together. Okay, so I've spent a bit of time looking at this turbo, I've cleaned it up a little bit and there is actually some damage inside here, that's why you don't take things apart with screwdrivers. Um, also looking at this exhaust wheel, the tips of the blades don't look to be in the best condition. Problem? Maybe, but thankfully, and because I'm a very lucky boy, I do have a spare TDO4, which I bought before I bought the one that actually went on the car, but decided it wasn't. I wasn't going to use it. I've had a look at this one, it's actually in better condition, uh, as are the blades on the wheels, so I'm actually going to rebuild this one instead. Next up, we're going to move on to what you get in the rebuild kit. The main components, you've got your two bronze journal bearings, these little bits here. There's a couple of clips, little C clips in here. I'm not entirely sure what these are for. You also get a brand new one of these bronze plates. This piece, that piece, two main O rings, and a C clip. So, what I've done, I've got a little pot of oil here. Just giving everything a nice smear. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one of these bushings, this journal here, coat of oil, drop it in the turbo. Drop that bushing down inside there, and just make sure it can turn, so it's not binding up. Nice. When we removed the original, we found with this bronze plate here that there's one of these little top hat shaped articles underneath it. This. I want to get that back in next. Oil it up. With this you want to make sure that that teardrop shape is pointing downwards so facing into the core of the turbo. So we'll drop this little 
top pattern, like that. And drop the bronze plate in. The next thing I'm going to put in will be the smaller of the two O-rings that comes with the kit. So there's two grooves in here, it sits down in the lowest one. The next thing we need to do is assemble the new version of this. This plate, this piece, this one, the larger top hat, and the smaller of these split rings here. So we'll start by holding that this way up, drop the top hat through, and we're going to push this little split ring home, in like that, push it all through here, so it sits in like that, and gently, there we go, work it into place, don't hit it like that, and smear some oil. See, the part that sticks out, that plate, drops in down there. Give this a little pop into place, and then we take the new of the smaller C clip, set it fires, give it a little light tap downwards, make sure it's something we want to do at the top end here is install the big O ring. Just goes around the edge here. This turbo core that looks like that. Next we can move on to the other end. And just one another one of those. bearings inside to get the seats. The next thing we need to look at we turn our attention to the exhaust side. Give this we want the larger of these two split rings. Open it up nice and gently. So when you're installing this it's going to want to sit in the first of the two rings. I'm going to make sure you get it all the way down into the second one, the lowest one. I'm going to forget to install your backing plate, whatever it is. Let's move up the shaft. This is ready to go in. And we're going to need to get that scraper into seat. So it should just click into place. We're going to be a bit stiff. Don't worry too much. You can press a wheel. I'm just going to give it a light. Drop that on. Make sure it doesn't catch on anything. And we can reinstall the securing nut. Okay, so that's how you rebuild the core of a turbo. The next thing you need to do before reassembling it is consider clocking the various components. So you've got three main components. You've got the exhaust housing, the compressor housing, and the core. This all depends on what setup you're running. Ideally what you want is the oil feed at the top, the oil drain at the bottom, and then compressor housing, you want that pointing in the best location for your intercooler piping. So first up, we're going to start with the exhaust housing. I've dropped that in place. I'll just go and grab the core. So on your core, you will have a single hole here. That is your oil feed and a single large hole with two threaded holes at the bottom, that is the oil drain. You've also got two water feeds here that have been blocked, but these are the ones we'll be using. So we want this at the top here, so we're going to hold this in place, push it into place, that location. It's a housing, and I'll do exactly the same thing, just the end into my... Mark that location as well. And can take it all off and put it back together properly.